Hi everyone, my name is Anagha and I'm from the data science discovery team and in this video today we are going to be doing a question on a data frame selection using pandas. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we have early Beatles albums, right? The Beatles have reunited one last time to launch their last song. Um, as a devoted fan of the Beatles, Oliver wanted to complete his collection of these albums. He realized he did not have any albums before 1966, so he decided to purchase of the albums before 1966. Data DF contains all Beatles songs both before and after 1966. So we have this one data frame here. We can actually go ahead and output that, right, just to see what we're dealing with. But essentially this entire data frame contains all Beatles songs from all these different years, not just before 1966. And let's see what uh, column it is. Oh yeah, right here there's year and it includes basically a different <coughs> songs from all these different years. Based only on the new albums that he purchased, Oliver also wanted to create a playlist that contains songs with basically these elements, right? Speechiness less than or equal to 0.466 or densibility greater than or equal to 0.714. So in Python, we have given you this preloaded data frame, a filter DF into a new data frame that is called DF early with songs before the year 1966. So let's go ahead and do that first. So step one is filter for songs released before the year 1966, right? So we want to call it DF early. So DF early equals, and we want to use the um, original data frame to filter for songs released before the year 1966. So we want to do DF and then in brackets, DF dot year and again I can use dot notation or bracket notation I'm choosing to use dot notation here just because a column doesn't contain any space but you can uh, you can also do the bracket notation right so I'm going to do DF and then my column name in brackets or after the dot if you choose to use the other notation uh, before 1966 so it should be the year should be less than 1966 now when we go ahead and output DF early just to see what this contains, all of these um, albums should be before the year 1966. So step one is basically done. Now we need to do step, step two, right? Then filter DF early to include these desired features over here and create a new data frame DF playlist. Your final out should, output should be DF playlist. So step two, we need to create a new data frame DF playlist where we are using DF early to basically filter songs with these desired features. So we are using DF early. So remember in the right hand side of our assignment statement, when we filter from the data frame, we want to use DF early as the data frame we are filtering from because this contains songs released before the year 1966. So we want to do DF early and then in brackets, df early and then uh, the column we are looking at here is uh, the speechiness and the danceability columns right so there's two columns that we're dealing with let me just add spaces so it's easier to read so the first one is you can just go ahead and copy paste your columns names so you don't have any you know spelling typos so the speechiness should be less than or equal to 0 0.466 and I know there's more than one conditional here, so I want to go ahead and wrap each of my conditionals with a set of parentheses. So the DF uh, early speechiness is less than or equal to 0.466, or, right, or, and they even tell you to use this or sign, um, or the DF early, and then in brackets, the other column is this densibility column is greater than or equal to 0 0.714. And just wanna go ahead and double check my numbers here. Less than or equal to 0.466, greater than or equal to 0.714. And then when we output DF playlist, it should only be uh, albums before the year 1966 that contain speechiness less than or equal to 0.466 and densibility greater than or equal to 0.714 and this uh, is 
you know, basically what the question is asking, right? I think the only tricky part here would probably be step two, where we have these two conditionals and which sign we're using. Since it says or, we just need to, uh, it's just a matter of reading the question carefully, seeing what it's asking. If it says or, then we need to use this or operator. If it says and, then we need to use the and symbol. And, um, and the final out should, should be DF playlist, which we did. And then when we go ahead and submit our code, um, we know it passes all test cases, which is expected because we did everything the question asked. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any other questions, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye.